Yeah, dude. It's been more than three years now that I've been recording my Wild Ride podcast. And sometimes extra stuff happened aside from the podcast. And this is the best of that very stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk, who was my very first podcast guest, drove my car while I skated over it in motion. Oh! And I will never stop thinking that is awesome. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Mewes. Do, 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 yeah, hello, dude. hello. Who doesn't love Jason Mewes of Jay and Silent Bob? I told him about this idea I had to use a pitching machine to fire cans of liquid death mountain water into my face. And if I'm wearing a catcher's uh, mask, 100 miles an hour, like can right into my face, I think uh, is doable. If you do attempt this, maybe I can be part of it and I could be the one throwing the can in there. Dude, I love it. <laughs> and when I say I'm going to do something, I have a pretty good track record for doing it. So, Kukadouken! Oh! oh! You can see it just go, Kukadouken! This footage has never been released before now. Two, one! Ah! 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 You seriously bedoingled my jaw. I didn't mean to bedoingle him, but I had to give him a little hip hip again. Um, and I'm, I appreciate uh, being invited, man, because we talked about it on the podcast, yeah. and you thought of me, and I appreciate that. Dude, how rad is this video? My buddy, Dr. Drew, is actually a doctor, and one day I went over to his office to get a blood test, and he gave me extra test tubes of my own blood for me to just do something random with. I'm gonna paint. Just like my tattoos, I'd say it came out a lot better than you would expect from Steve-O. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve will do it. Before we recorded the podcast with Steve Will Do It of the Nelk Boys, he shot me in the face with a t-shirt cannon I loaded with dog poop, which blew a hole in my eardrum. I got an earful! So while we recorded the podcast, periodically I was like, ow, ow, yeah. ow, fuck. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Maybe we should go I mean, see dude, a doctor. I, I'm open-minded to going to uh, a, a proper doctor because yeah, it is it is pretty messed up. Careful, yeah. 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 You got a hole in your gum. What you did was a stupid thing. <laughs> this is one I'm forever humbled by. Bill Burr came on my podcast. Dude, you're a legend. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and I told him about the grand opening sequence for my bucket list show. And I asked him, because he's a helicopter pilot, if we could film him flying a helicopter to insert into the opening sequence, which he agreed to do. And man, is it the most incredible thing ever. <laughs> Maybe even crazier than that was when we drove the van all the way to Albuquerque, New Mexico to the home of UFC champ John Jones. We were at his house for a few days and the whole time we were trying to give me cauliflower ear. <laughs> <laughs> It got so out of hand that some of the footage we shot with John Jones is the footage that makes people pass out at my bucket list shows. I can't show you that on YouTube, but I will show you what I did with some of the blood. You wild man. That's a one of a kind, Steve -O. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Post Malone. What's going on, party What's people? Up, dude? It was classic when Post Malone peed into a jug to contribute to my big time world record that I was working on. That's that, a good pee. That is a good amount. I'm dude. talking about one day you could probably fill the whole thing. Damn right. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Lee. Dude. <laughs> yeah. What's up? You know, it's crazy that I never made a video just about how I met Motley Crue when I was 13 years old. Well, when Tommy Lee was on my podcast, he and I recreated that photo from 1987. Worth mentioning that Tommy Lee was absolutely fantastic on the podcast. No Instagram, pre-fucking <laughs> cell phone cameras. Right. We got away with fucking straight murder. <laughs> <laughs> if you know anything about the insane clown posse, you know their fans are really wild. And after I had Violent J on the podcast, they invited me to host the gathering of the Juggalos. 
at the gathering, the crowd was screaming, show us your butthole. So I did. And photos of my butthole popped up online, making my butthole legendary. So when we had Shaggy 2 Dope of ICP on the podcast, I wanted to show him my butthole just to assure him that there's nothing wrong with it. No! <laughs> you can't do it. I can't look directly at your butthole. It's like looking at the sun, dog. I can't. Please don't show me your butthole. I was going to spread it every bit as wide. Not to me. <laughs> I can't do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Carter. This one's definitely sad to talk about because, of course, Aaron Carter has passed. But I want to share this because he was so fun-loving. Are you really trying to jump out your window? Why not? I, I feel a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to give some love to the memory of Aaron Carter. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wozniak. The fact that I got Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple Computers, on my podcast is amazing. But what's even more amazing is that I went to the Apple store with him to buy a computer with his 10% employee discount. <laughs> I almost never use my get any advantage from my discount, so I finally am. I buy my computers at full price. Worth mentioning that I had my fiance Lux on the podcast, and one time we did a double decker pee. <laughs> <laughs> we had Ryan Sheckler on the podcast the same day that I did the greatest kickflip of my life at his skate park. <laughs> also a pretty good skateboarder, Nigel Houston was on my podcast and he skated my car. <laughs> and now for the grand finale. As you can imagine, Dan Bilzerian has a goddamn ridiculous house. Where to even begin? Is it a gun room or a gun safe? Fuck out of here. <laughs> there are a few options. <laughs> I mean, dude, like indoor basketball court, hockey ring, military trucks, boats. And he quickly became one of my favorite guests. I mean, what's the coolest party you've ever been to? I mean, I mean definitely the ones I threw. I mean, I threw some fucking monsters. I had Cardi B performing in my living room. But let me tell you about Steve Aoki. When we pulled up to his incredible house, they told me that he was about to get in an ice plunge and that I was invited. So I met him in his sauna. Steve Aoki is already out of the gate. Like, let's do this. Let's do that. Dude, I'm stoked. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Then he tells me I gotta stay in the ice plunge for five minutes, which turned out to be not that easy. That's cold. In fact, I found myself in such pain that I started really screaming like a bitch. Uh, ah, gotta be close. Ah, I don't like it. <laughs> He's also got a rad ramp in the backyard, which I skated, and the tour of his house was awesome. We both did gainers into his foam pit. Yeah. Oh. One, two, three. His recording studio is dope. We did a Polaroid Aoki jump. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Aoki. If ever there was an amazing episode of my podcast, it's the one with Steve Aoki, which inspired this video so that I can tell you it just went live. So click here and enjoy Steve Aoki. Thank you for watching. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh! Get out of here! Ah! 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 